Here we are, baby. Welcome back to Friday! God dang, did I miss you! And I'm so freaking pumped! I'm amped right now! How do we carry on that energy? None of this will do. We gotta do that. We gotta do this. What the heck is up, everybody? God dang, I, I forgot how to do this. Where's the chat? Where's the chat? Chat. Is that the chat? That's a chat. There we are. What the heck is up, everyone? How have you been? Please tell me you've been great. I'm just glad, glad to be here. I'm glad to see you guys. Cheers. Happy freaking Friday. Some things are different. This glass is delicious. Mmm. We left, and I came back. Oh, friggin' Mary. <laughs> Man, how the heck have you guys been? It's felt like forever. I don't even... How many weeks has it been? Two weeks is too long. God. Mmm. Mm-mm. That is delicious. Get on in here, get something in your glass. Go ahead, tell me what you're pouring, what you're drinking, what's your plans for tonight. We, we're gonna take a chill. It was three weeks? Dang. Hey, we're back though. We're gonna be taking it super chill tonight. I got some goodies. I got some goodies. You, look at this. We almost, Janelle. Janelle, you're in here. I gotta tell you the story on this right now because we almost didn't have this. So I get a notification, your package has been delivered. And I'm like, awesome. I cannot wait to get some old Forster 1924. And I get home and the, there's no box. There is no box there. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure he said it was delivered. So I pull up the, the app they took a picture, not my freaking porch. They dropped this bottle off at another porch. So, first thing you do is clearly go walk to your neighbor's front yard and just see if it's there, and there it was. So I just snatched it. It's not like I'm stealing, right? It's my box. So, that was a close call. Um, but, we're here. You know what? I, we, I, the energy right now is different. The energy right now is different. And how do I find it? Just give me one second. We got to get the energy in here. I need, I know how to find it. We just got to get it. We just got to get it. Found it. Found my guy. I want this. There we go, baby. We got it. Found it. Found the music. I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into some good bottles, and we got a lot to talk about. Um, what would be a good one? This might be good. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what we're getting into. Ah. Who's in here, baby? Who's in here? I need the energy. Bring the energy, people. Get something in your freaking glass. Joe Dickinson and Janelle. 
Janelle again hand delivered this bottle to me barely today. It was not her fault. It's it. I blame the neighbors. Wilmington Piper, Principal Zelensia. God dang, does it feel good to say you guys' names, Richard White? Glad to be back. Mike Meyer, cheers all and sug it. Ron Wells. Truman, new food. New food, who deuce? What's up, Truman? I forgot how to speak English. I've been speaking Italian, you know. Yeah, it's a good Friday. Hope everyone's having a good Friday, if that's something you partake in. But even if you don't, you can still have a good fr Friday. You can have a good, good Friday. Erica P. Tater Dom, Daniel Berry Sports Highlights. Jack M. Knew something had been missing from my Fridays. I, I felt it, too. It was you guys not being there, James B. What's up, dude? Wise guy. Hey, wise guy. Again. Wise guy. Hand delivered some other goodies that I may have already been getting into this week. Sue me. Gary. Got a Heaven Hill 18 for retail today. Okay. How much is that? Mr. Mom says he sees a bottle of Journeyman. That is one of the bottles we're going to get into, and I've been enjoying it, but yeah. Dude. Dude. It's just different. It just hits different. Roy, doing some cocktails. Slap shot. What's up, dude? Hyatt America Shoebox Files. Oh, Joe Thompson, $20 super chat. PT cadence. Pump it up. No, you pump it up. I'm just thinking of pump, pump, pump it up, pump. No, not there. The song stopped. What's up, Scott Moody? Kevin Campbell, congrats, married man. Who is this guy on my screen? Welcome back, you nerd. What's up, Tony Bag of Donuts? Dram it all, howdy nerds. Starting with some super... Per you know you're freaking nuts when you start with super proofers. And I'm all for it. Absolutely. Andrew Kelly. Guy Davis, welcome back, Trev. I had not seen an announcement of live chat, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> We've been um, severely jet lagged this week. In fact, basically the entire vacation or honeymoon and this week was like two weeks of jet lag but we powered through what's up cali drams look at all these nerds shana marie d hmm i'm just warming up with something <laughs> who cares bourbon hunter hills a dime see you tomorrow nerd what was the ticket on that 19 what Oh, how much it costs. I thought there was an actual ticket. Um, what was it, Janelle? 115? Yeah. I was trying to think because of shipping. I think it was 115. Are you wind out from your trip, says Tom. I'll be honest, not really. Um, and we'll get into it. I mean, I guess we can just get into it now. What else do we have to do? We're just talking and drinking and enjoying each other's company. Uh, guys, I'm not gonna lie. We, we, I feel, and I, you know, I, I, I we did some damage to, to the wine industry over there, okay? Yeah. Every morning. So this this let me let me just give you a rundown of how a typical day for us was this trip. And I'm talking every day. It was like a routine. We didn't have tours planned. We already did all that. We wanted just to go and do whatever the heck we wanted. We'd wake up. Bottle of Prosecco. Bam. Prosecco me. Now. Breakfast. Usually a nap. Like right then. Wake up, eat, Prosecco, sleep. 
Because the Italians, they don't start. They don't start. It's 11 o'clock. No, they do not come outside. Um, but then we'd go out. We'd walk around, find somewhere to have some drink, an Aperol, get some charcuterie, like, daily. Go see the sights, walk by certain things, go different places. Um, aperitivo time, a.k.a. more wine, more Aperol. Um, then we go to dinner, more wine, like, a lot of wine. You'd leave, and we'd go find, I don't know, gelato, maybe? Wine. And then, uh, you know, that'd be the day. <laughs> Every single day. What's up, Lone Wanderer? Pleco? So, how do we shenanigan again? Finish your glass, Andrew. It's empty. And if it's full, then you, you messed up. Let's just go ahead and get into one of these. I'm going to start with this one because it is a 100% wheat whiskey, which is crazy. 100% wheat whiskey. Love the sticker. I don't know if they all do that, but the other one I have does not have this little not yours on her hoo-ha. So... Corsets, whips, and whiskey, distilled and bottled by Journeyman. So it is their own stuff. I, I don't know why I thought it wasn't their own stuff. Um, I don't know what they're doing up there. Do not know what they're doing up there. Because this stuff? <laughs> Dude. Where, where should I put it? I need like a stool. That's what we were going to get, remember? A stool. I need a stool. We're not playing around. There we go. And then on deck. <laughs> That's what we're drinking right there, baby. What's up, J.H. Rick? And you also reminded me. We're going to do a big old toast of this son of a biscuit. Clearly been enjoying that one. I already have, I have a couple more backups over there too. <laughs> so add that to the lineup too, mother suckers. What's up, Gandhi Road? Doug, what's up, Doug? Tim Terrell, Friday at Fred's, John T. Get in here, man. David, 13.1. Cheers, welcome back. You were missed. Well, I mean, while I was having probably one of the greatest times of my life, you know, honeymooning with my new wife, I missed you guys. What's up, bourbon kitty? About time you got in here, you're late. I'm sure you were here the whole time. Josh Fritz, cheers, sipping my first Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A124. I still haven't gotten that one. Like, what the heck, man? I also haven't gone to the liquor store in like three weeks. So. Andrew Surfling, Jock Jams, 999. Pump it up. Roman Carter. What's up, Roman? Peter White. It's 115 in Oregon. My brother got one, but I missed it. 115 says Janelle. We're going to get into that sucker. I'm going to tell you what I think. This is going to be the initial thoughts. Got to shoot a review on it. Um, but you guys know how I operate. If I ever review something on the live stream, you are 100% obligated to then go to the video and be like, talk crap. Leave like six comments about how you've already seen this. Tony Bag of Donuts, can we get Miss Wrench to say hi and cheers with a little C's and desist? Maybe. 
She's not home right now, but she is severely, severely jet lagged slash like return to work blues. So she's like walking zombie. Michael McG, awful story. Dang, man. Dang, Michael. Fresh crack of old Forrester 1920 to celebrate Trev back on the big screen. Let's go. How does the journeyman compare to the old Dominic polling station? Mr. Mom, I don't know if I've tried that one. Which one's the 100% weed of the, of the old Dominic? Wheat and red wax. Makers. Um, the other one I have is black wax. So I'm guessing they just do whatever the heck they want. Um, this one's 117.2. The other one I have is 117. So they seem to be in line. Let's see what they say about it. Located in 1800's Corset and Buggy Whip Factory. Sounds nice. Once a dry town, we feel we finally added the essential ingredient to a great party. Join us every July for our annual Corsets, Whips, and Whiskeys event. Okay. I love it. You know why I like that? Is because there's no there's no thrills or whistles and it's just hey we built our distillery in an old corsets factory. That's it. There is no story. There is no Yeah, and uh and the freaking owner of that building, he um he was amazing and we we built this to honor him and cherish Jit no bogus story. Just this, this is where we built our distillery. And here's good whiskey. You know? Screw it. I don't need your bullcrap. There. Good enough. I got a bottle of that cease and desist. Have not opened it yet, says Tim. Dude, I, I might buy more. I don't know. The last I checked... I think it was like, I don't even know how many we have left. But I think before I left the country, there was like a handful of these. Um, I have, I bought, I bought several. Because I knew how good it was. This is the, mm, we're not getting into it yet. But dang good stuff. For a wheat whiskey, so it's surprisingly like there's surprising amount of spice on this, and that's what throws me off is because it is a wheat whiskey. You would expect it to be just full blown soft, just so flaccid. It has the nice, you know, wheat doughiness, but man, is it like it reminds me of, um, like a cinnamon, one of those toasts. You ever get the toast, like the cinnamon flavored toast? It kind of reminds me of that. Delicious. Now I need to think. Let's get the, let's get the house music in here. Elvis just cracked Elijah Craig private barrel. Troy from ba Troy, Troy from Baker. What's up, Troy? Louis, I'm about to pour me some Elijah Craig barrel proof C923. Okay, dude, rub it in. Delicious. Or if I will crack, open my bottle with you tonight as well. There we freaking go. I'm excited. I might just do that next because it is only a hundred proof. And then we'll go up to this guy because it's 118. Oh, I thought it was 111. What's up, Evan? Cheers, killing my OKI Reserve Batch 1. Buffalo Trace Old Fashioned right now, waiting for Trev to open the 1924 so I can open mine. We're about to have a party, baby. Um, Another fun fact, guys. 
Um, I just, I don't even know why. I'm just so, I'm all over the place. I have a video that I think I'll release it Monday. It's done. It's on YouTube. I just need to un, like, make it public. But I did a... Bourbon hunting in Italy. <laughs> I went on a little bourbon hunt and found a store. I, I just read Buffalo Trace. Joe said Buffalo Trace, and it just made me think of that video. Trev, good news. My office is closed the day of the eclipse. We did too. Duke McHale, look who's all married. Larry, have you tried Kentucky Owl confiscated? Price just dropped over half. What? Jeez. Um. I would say for I, here's the thing. Did it? Did the liquid itself change too? How do you drop the price by? How do you do that? Like something's not right there. Either that just shows you that it was severely overpriced in the, to begin with. Or they just put... I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say it's... I have not heard that many good things about that. But... I don't know. For half the price, maybe people... I, I think a lot of things' problems is... It just does not match the price. Like, it could be really good, but do, do I want to pay $120 for that? No, it's like a $60 bottle. So if they dropped it to $60, maybe I would have been less mad about it. I don't know. Any, what, what do you guys think of Kentucky Owl Confiscated? Do not, don't think of price. What do you think of the bottle? Joe, see, um, probably, actually, yeah, maybe. Send me, shoot me a text. Because mine's about empty, and I love that bottle. Holy crap. So Peter says, I have a 12-year 100% wheat whiskey from Masterson's. Very spicy. This is spicy. I'm, you would almost question if that's a weeder or not. I'm, I'm telling you. It has such... Now, I guess the wheat comes in because it really, it kind of doesn't drink 117. It's soft in that aspect of it. But there is a spiciness. Um, it is. It's like a cinnamon type of uh, bread. Like maybe, maybe a cinnamon roll without the icing. Okay, don't think like Ambrana. Take the icing away. It's not that sweet. It's more bourbon bourbon bready, cinnamony, Freaking delicious. Like, it's just fantastic. Hollywood, what's up? Hey, bud, hope you're doing well. Yeah, the Braves, man. I missed, I started watching them at work. And then when I got home, I left and the score was like three to zero or two to zero. And I get home, it's like nine to three. The Braves is freaking destroyed. What's up, Richie Z? Yeah, this is just freaking great. Corsets, whips, and whiskeys. No thrills, just good. Toshi, big. Congrats to you and YP Trev. Welcome back. Cheers, Toshi. Good to see you, man. Andrew Kelly says, I realized I have Woodford wheat. Now I kind of want to drink along. Andrew, have you... Let me... This is totally random. Not really. It's about Woodford Wheat. Have you ever taken a glass of Woodford Wheat and walked outside? I'm telling you, that thing's different out there. Just go out there. It's just different. Very banana nut bread. Very bready. The banana. Mm. The red wax journeymen are good. What's up? The bourbon jerk are the good ones. 
There's other, so the red wax means something. I have a black waxed one over there and now this one. What does the wax mean? This is coming from Novi Party Store, Warehouse 3, Volume Number 5. Barrel size, 30. Oh, is that how many barrels went into that? What does that mean? So it was barreled 4-21-2017. Math, so it's about, what's that? Six years? Just shy of seven years old. Fan freaking tastic. Woodford Wheat is a great spring whiskey on my porch. See, Janelle. I've never seen one with them with a red wax. Red wax are usually store picks or single bears. Okay. So it makes sense. Mine over there is the black wax. And I'm pretty sure it's a, a batch because it's even 117 proof. This one's... 117.2 so and it's pretty cool they in they engrave the side of the bottle instead of putting a sticker they engrave that crap on there <laughs> bottle nine overall really good stuff Hey Trev, I just put another C and D in my cart, but I can't add Magi. Really? Where is it? There we go. Um, these might just be what you can buy now. I don't know. They're... I'll have to look at it in a bit. Alright, you guys know what freaking time it is. You know what freaking time it is. Old Forester 1924. The first time. Let's see what this is all about. I have not really heard anything about this. I, I feel like I've just been so out of the loop on everything. I have no idea about anything. Alright, let's make this a nice and... Good looking. Voila, 10 year old. This whiskey is distilled by us only and we are responsible for its richness and fine quality. Its elegant flavor is solely due to the original fineness developed with care. There is nothing better in the market. Kind of weird. Like, that's it. Let's get a little hefty pour of that. You know why? Because we're back, baby. We're freaking back. And you know what that means? Pause this bull crap. Get this going. Where's the upbeat stuff? Here we freaking go. Old Forester 1924. What's up, Sugar Kitty? Andrew Surfling. 1924 is good. 
underwhelming for the price. The nose is better than the palate. Last I checked, whiskey is for drinking, not for snipping. All right. All right. I'm going to tell you, you have I ever once led you guys astray? I tell you my honest and humble opinion. Just let that sit there for a second. I have an old Forster 1924 too. I'll have a four with you. What's up, Ben Demon Hunter? There's a lot of you guys who are definitely drinking this along with me. Sugar Kitty? What are you up to? I will say... <clears throat> The oakiness, I guess, this is like the very first two sniffs. There's something, and I'm guessing it's got to be the age, it's got to be the oak, that is definitely more prevalent than on any other of the other, when I say other Old Foresters, I mean the regular crap. We ain't talking about special stuff. All of the... the the sweet notes, some of that banana, some of the, um, let's take 1920, compare it to it. Those notes are not really here. Much darker. Everything about it's darker. I, clearly, I know this is Old Forester. I don't know. Like, if, the, if you gave this to me blind, I don't know if I would even jump to, oh, well, that's Old Forester, but maybe I'd pick out the Brown Foreman, but it's not really giving me Brown Foreman vibes right now. I think the age really is makes it different in that aspect. It's unique to their, their, their lineup for sure. Almost even getting like, like a, like a dark chocolate caramel candy. Yeah, it smells, it's, it's smelling better and better and it already smelled good. Just, it's definitely different. Definitely different. So Elvis is, okay. If you guys are, so I know Janelle, Joe. For sure, more oak has an acetone note that tells me Old Forester. Okay, I'm gonna let it. We're just gonna let it sit here. I poured a, a hefty pour so I can keep going back to it. Hefty, maybe that's a normal size. I don't know. Okay, so Will T says ten years in Old Forester's heat cycled Rick houses would lend to more oak. Okay, do they say that? I'll look it up. On the front, it says they just give the story. Nose is almost early times black top. Okay. Oh, wow. I, if you just like set it down for like, I don't know, a little bit and you go back. The oak was so heavy on that last smell. It was like, dang, what's the age on that? It almost smelled more than 10. It's definitely changing and kind of opening up as I'm, is it sitting here? All right, screw it. I'm just going to go in for a sit because I want a drink. You guys heard? Whiskey is for drinking, not sniffing. Cheers. Good to good to be back. Whoa, that was cool.
I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back. Uh, I don't want to, because we, we got a lot of you guys drinking this along with me. I don't want to sway you anyway. That kind of didn't do much for me. Like, it's like I hit, it was like just, I wouldn't say over the top oak. When I, I'm going to keep saying oaky, but there was a late, like oak and then kind of nothing. It, like almost even hot. Like this was lower proof than the stuff I've drank. And it just, I don't know, it was like oak and acetone and then nothing. So, let me, we'll go back to it. But that, the first sip was by sh by far not um, impressed. Again, I'm also thinking, okay, this is a huge, huge thing. Old Forester 100 proofs, $20. Old Forester 1897 is 100 proof. Um, what was that? 40, 50, 50 dollars. This is 115 dollars. And, and to answer your question, Paul, a hundred proof. It's a hundred proof. So, Old Forester has two other readily available hundred proofers. So, I'm like, this has got to compete. It's in the portfolio. So, I, you got to keep the price in mind. It's just, that's part of it. Uh, I'm trying to judge it by the taste alone, but the price is also going to play a huge factor in this. Or I can already tell you. Yeah. I'm, I'm still not finding the banana. Janelle said she's finding the banana. That's the look of underwhelmed. <laughs> What's up, Matthew? Kiss the ring. Oh, what's that? This is just my... This isn't my actual ring. This is just, um... Yeah. One of the silicone ones. Check out this dead guy. What's up, Ben? A little floral on the second sip, but very little finish. Let's go. Let's go back into it, baby. What's up, Rick? I'm trying to see, make sure I didn't miss anyone. David Smith, sub trip, just got here. Push-ups and progress. There you go. What's up, Daniel Sutherland? I'm late. Good to see you. Miracle. Uh, Miracle, you've been in... Did I, have I said hello? Andrew Surfling's getting his, his freaking 1924 too. Get in here, people. It was a it's definitely a little better the second time. Heavy oak again. It's like big bam. Oak. And then a little bit of that sweetness. I'm telling you, the, the finish really kind of is kind of lackluster. It hits you right up front with oak. But then it starts turning in like a sweetness. I'm telling you. Oh, okay, Tony. I, I was kind of thinking that's what it was. Anyway. Big oak up front. Chocolate sweetness, like a dark chocolate. And then... It kind of... You don't really taste anything in the back. Donnie! Hi, all not feeling so well. Got my shingles vaccine and have a low-grade fever. Wanted to drop in, say hi, and congratulations. Donnie, go take some rest. Drev, what's it like to own only half your whiskey? I own all of this crap. She she definitely don't want it. <laughs> it has some nice legs. I feel like it's a it's definitely not the typical old Forester flavors. Exactly, Kevin. This is not at all. 
So for that reason, I think that's that's points for it. It is not like any old forester for sure. I guess I guess what my issue is is that I feel like they were trying to appease like everyone like, everyone keeps asking give us an age statement give us an age statement and then they they do and they're like let's appease to those people and give them something this oak bomb thing but then it kind of loses the old forester identity in the process it's not like an oakier old forester it's like an oaky bourbon that could or could not be old forester I mean it's kind of like everything like the makers um am I that dumb the seller aged <laughs> very oaky but at least it had some other quality I will say it, it does make your whole tongue tingle. It's, it's lighting up the tongue. I'll give it that for a hundred proof. Some of that, it's kind of getting a little more. The back of the tongue's getting a little more now. I think this just is something that's got to sit in. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta sit with it, you know? What's up, Chris from Down Under? Congrats on the wedding trip. So things you can still say about your whiskey and your wife? She has nice legs. Yep, Andrew Surfling. If you go into this thinking you're getting an age 1910 or 1920, You'll be very upset. You'll you hit the nail on the head. Oak bomb, maybe leather, tobacco. I was I was literally gonna say like after a couple sips, you're getting this like I would I would call that leather on the very back of the tongue, almost like a dry. It's almost like you licked the leather. <laughs> you know, it's like what is that back there? Did I did I lick that? Um, but then, then after that, it's like gone, you know, mild sweetness. And, and I would say the sweetness is from like, imagine you go and buy like cooking chocolate, dark chocolate. It's like, you're getting the drier and drier kind, like the less sweet, dark chocolate. This ain't like dove dark chocolate. Okay. This is like 65 or whatever they're called. Graham cracker, zero finish. Yeah, Andrew, I I think I think we're on the same exact page. Janelle says I want to blind it with Russell's tin, Eagle Rare and McKenna. I might just have to do a video of like grab a bunch of 10-year-old bourbons and throw that in there and see how it stands out. I feel like I feel like this would stand out with the age like it drinks oaky. But like especially compared to some of the other ones like I think this drinks way more like a 10 year old than than Eagle Rare does. But I don't know if I would enjoy, you know what I'm saying? I don't know in a blind if I would enjoy this more than that. I don't know, I gotta. It almost drinks, maybe I'm, it's bourbon I did that today? Oh. Well, I'll just text Chad and tell him I'm stealing his video idea. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe I'm being hard. It drinks. It drinks aged. I'm gonna give it that. It drinks aged. And maybe I'm just being too hard. Maybe I was like, I don't know. We we, we might need to like sit with this. Maybe we were hoping that this would just be like an even better version of 1920. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe we were hoping it was just that, but a little more. But it's completely different. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm going to do something. Screw it. Because why not? Get another glass here. Oh, shoot. Oh. Now I got to go buy a 1920. Why would I even save that? <laughs> Oak spice, nice little hug, nose is good. Dude. I don't know, man. I think... <laughs> I might like the 1920 better. I mean, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say it. Off initial, we'll go back to it. Mama Bad Porter, congrats to the newlyweds. I'm gonna tell you guys, um, because there's not a lot to say about the wedding. Um, I still haven't really shown many pictures. We're waiting on our pictures, but I got tons of. I I, I was gonna wait. To post like the funny all the phone photos I took you know during the after party the the you know whatever they call it the reception <laughs> um I was gonna wait until we post like some of the more professional photos and then go the shenanigans but man we just had a great time uh busted out some whiskey uh killed a bottle of 1996 or 94 wild turkey um drinking maker's mark out on the stage the dance floor not the stage there was no stage just a great time just a great time um i was shaking like a leaf as much as i'm cool with being because you guys are just you guys you know what i'm saying it's just your names and i know you and if I stop to think about it and you have me on your TV in your house, it's kind of like, oh, shoot, it is a little scary. But, man, being up in front of, like, all these people looking at me, I'm, like, shaking. Sarah comes down, hot, so hot, and I'm like, shoot. I guess I, guess I just missed the banana. I'm not getting the banana, you guys... You're saying you find the banana. I have not found the banana yet. If anything, it's like a banana split. William Hindo. Just good old me. Hope everyone's having a good week. Packing to take the family to Florida. Let's go. Let's see. For Miracle Martinez. I think someone else is doing this too, so that's why I'm doing it. And Miracle Martinez kindly asked with a $5 super chat. What's the 10? Is that your 10th? Super chat? Is that what that means? What's up, Dennis? Raymond? What are we drinking? Just hopped on. <laughs> We're drinking Old Forester 1924 compared to 1920 compared to 1910. Because we were not thoroughly blown away by the 1924.
So yeah, I don't think the 1910 will compare to the 24 at all. Because the 1924 is like true aged oak. The 1910 is like, I feel like the double oak is giving you a double oaked. It's much more marshmallowy. It's, it's, um, campfire -y. It's fluffy. It's got that marshmallowness, toasted graham. 1920 classic everything you want in old forester little chocolate little banana not a lot of oak the 1924 is like all oak in bitter dark chocolate they're all they're completely different all three of them are not even in the same freaking realm 1910 I will say much softer. I think I'm going to give that huge credits. The 1924 is how much, like I was saying, you know, the finish maybe, eh. The way it like lights you up though, it, it definitely does that. Let's go to the 1920. There's a lot of 19s. 90 watching and only 53 like people. Let's fix that. Go find 10 people to get to 100 and then have all 10 of them like it. Giselle's Boston trip, did your wedding registry have mostly bottles of whiskey? It had a lot of stuff that Sarah says we need. And I listened because she's the boss. Um, huge thank you, though, to a lot of you guys. Um, make sure there's no names and stuff. This is just some of you, but I got a bunch of thank you little things that people have sent gifts from the registry, so. Not all of them had it, but, um. Like, I can call some of these people out right now because they're in the freaking chat. Miracle Martinez just did a super chat. And here's a gift from you. Friggin' love you. We'll get you an actual thank you, but I'm calling you out in front of everyone. Really appreciate that. We appreciate that. I speak for Sarah too. Looney Tune World sipping on that heart tequila. There we go. Let's go. Braves one. Cheers. Let's go. Just made myself a 1915. Ooh. I'll have to do that here. I'm, I'm comparing them. Oh, yeah. Especially, like, drinking the 1924 and then going to the 1920 really brings out the banana in the 1920. And then the 1924. Now, I don't know if that was residual 1920 in my mouth. A little bit sweeter that time, though. That was much better. I might need to blend the 1920. I know what I'm doing. Nineteen fifteen in the glass, and then here is a nineteen twenty two. Had to do math. I was like, which number? What numbers are this? Let's try a nineteen twenty two. My favorite year. Fun fact. <laughs> hey, Anthony. Here's my bonus. What's up, Tony? Again. 
I think if they would have made the 10 year a higher proof, it would be something to talk about. Maybe even if it was just a little bit. 110, 105. The 1922 smells good. Mm. It's not, honestly, not better than the two of them. I don't think that. I take that back. I don't think this is a good blender. Don't blend with it. Don't blend with it. Let's try the 1915. Now that's good. That's special. And then we're about to do something crazy. We're going to make a 19... A 1919. I don't care if that adds up or not. That's the only we running out of numbers here. Oh. Hands down better. 1915. So it's 1920, 1910, and 1924. Uh-oh. Wilmington says, how do I get a cease and desist sticker? My two bottles were naked. Um, I'll text. I don't know which email. If you contact, if you go to the website and if there's some sort of contact email, they will get you, if you can contact them. I don't know. I don't know the email off the top of my head, like which guy you email. But if you go to like customer service or something, they sometimes that will happen. Um, they just screw up. So mine, all of all of my bottles came with stickers, like on them. So Mark Emmenecker, Wilmington, you also didn't have to super chat to say that, bro. Dennis R, did I miss you? Congrats, let's go, because I'm drinking. You called it. And I'm scrolling back up because I saw Andrew Surfling say this. One bottle of 1910 plus one bottle of 1920 over one bottle of 1924. Give me those two bottles for almost the same price. That honestly still might stand true. Like, for the price of what you get, you know, if you don't have the income to get this, for one, this is, you cannot find this. Like, I don't think you can just get this. I think it's hard to come about. Like, you can't just, oh, I want to go get a 1924. That's a problem. And then when you do have the chance, do you have the dis uh, disposable income to get it? I think if you don't, I just, I, I, I don't know. I think, I think your money is better spent elsewhere, especially if you don't have just $115 to drop on a single bottle of bourbon. And I think that's the whole issue with this. Um, I just... I don't think, I, I mean, I, there is no I don't think. I think I can just go ahead and speak for the world. I get it. I understand, like, in today's market, it's like, what is it? I think I think I saw Stu say it. But the whole $10 per year it's aged, I, for one, I don't think that, I get that's how the market is. I just disagree with that when things like Eagle Rare, um russell's 10 knob creek all of this crap exists and because it's not hard for them to at this point in time they've been doing this for hundreds of years they have the stock they have aged stuff it's not that hard to get a nine-year-old bourbon shoot guys i i was in italy drinking freaking 40 year old balsamic vinegar and they were just handing it out to me on a spoon okay 40 like, I get it. I just, I think if other people can do it at a lower price, 
then if you are going to demand this arbitrary $10 per year, you better deliver. And I do not think this delivers at 115 bucks. I think this is, this is a good bottle and it should be in line $60, $70. And I'm giving them 70. I'm pushing my, I'm pushing it. I'm, I'm giving them that. I'm putting it up there because it is 10 years old. And I'm, I'm just, I'm being nice. Oh, it's different. You don't have an H statement. Here you go. Here's an extra 10. Jack Daniels, hey, what's well, for one? James Lay, I, I have not said hello. You've been in here. Jack 10 is what? 30 bucks cheaper? Boom. 30 bucks cheaper. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, guys, if you're going to do something and demand a premium, you better bring premium. It's 2024. We, we can't, we, we can't, we can't keep doing this. It's good. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. If you buy that, if you went and stood in line, if you buy it, you spend 115 bucks. I think you're going to be disappointed for that reason. Um, I think the price takes away from what it does bring you. It's like you can't even focus on the bourbon itself because all you're thinking about is how much you just paid for it. It's like, why would I have not just went and bought 1920 and then anything else with that extra 60 bucks? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it, I, I don't, I think it's too much money. That's all there is to it. Too much. I'll revisit it. And, and again, I like doing this. I like fresh cracking models on the live stream doing the rant now. And then when I shoot the video, see if it has time to open up, if it's changed. And then I'll 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 I'll, I'll correct myself. I I will say, hey, I was wrong. It needs time, and it's a good thing. Hey, it needs time to open up. It ne you need to open it. But first crack. Um, I think it's like a. I don't think it's bad. I think it's like a six out of ten. Let, no, that's too low. We need to go up. I would give it a like a 79 out of 100 like 80 80 maybe like I, it's not you know it's just kind of there it's just I, I. what do you guys think I wish all bourbon was like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C923. <laughs> Don't we all? 1924 was 175 at the only store I saw. Easy to walk away. And I would say, especially now trying it, if you can't get it for retail, then my answer is absolutely not. I don't care if you have the disposable income. Don't do it. Do not do it. If you can get it for retail and you do have the money to buy that um then do it try it for yourself yeah I, andrew i am right there with you it's like i enjoy it it's different price the price gotta change dog gotta change That's okay. I think that was my blend of all of them. Again, I don't. I think the 1924 does not blend. Got my 1924 for a hundo. It's good, but I don't get why it's much more than the others. See, Mark got it for even cheaper than all of us. Eric Soya. What's up, Eric? How you doing, dude? Oh yeah, I'm smelling like the the other one. It's just 
so much better. Bourbon Hunter, that is. So Bourbon Hunter has a one. So that's your first one. But what the crap is... Wilmington Piper has sent several Super Chats. He don't have a little number next to his. But Miracle Martinez has 10. Oh, so yeah, this says let's celebrate their first lot, their first super chat. I don't know, Wilmington, you don't have, you don't, you, you've done too many. You don't even have numbers anymore, but Miracles hit 10. I just realized that's what that means. That's cool. I, I like that. It's kind of cool that it will tell you, I, I guess to a certain point, I feel like Wilmington he might be over 10. That Maybe they just stopped counting. They're like, yeah, screw off. <laughs> Super chat, virgin cherry pop. Hey. hey. Trev, I picked a recent Old Forster single barrel barrel strength that was 90. See, that's another thing. The barrel strength stuff's 90, $100. Like, I just think it's it was too much. It's too much. I like it though. That's my final thoughts until I shoot the video on it, which I'll probably I don't know. Sunday's Easter. I'll probably shoot it and edit um cuz I already have a video ready to go for next week. Um I am so excited. I hope you guys like it. I've never it's it's my first ever bourbon hunting video. I hope you like it. Um Let's do this. This is another bottle I got to shoot a video on. It's my first Bardstown Discovery series since Discovery... Discovery... Five or six. Which... Was it Discovery Five or was it... No, it was Discovery Six. Discovery Five was the one that had like tons of dickle in it. I skipped that one. So this is the last one I've had since six. Here's a here's a great point. Here's a great point. Seb, I'll just show you, and then we'll talk about it. If it'll do it. Too much gold. Look at that. Seventy three percent of this blend is thirteen year old. Twenty one percent of this blend is ten years old. So majority of this blend is the same age and older than that old Forrester. And then they got a six-year-old of their own stuff. This was like $20 more than old Forrester. And I'm pretty sure this is, this is like on the shelf in places. Um, again... Stu had to um, hand deliver this to me, um, but he went to the store and grabbed it. There was no pushing down of grandmothers like the 1924. So there is that. Now, the 13-year-old and 10-year-old are both Kentucky, different mash bills. And I'm sure you guys know more than I do but I'm pretty sure the 13-year-old in this is, um, and I just saw David said, I heard that's mostly turkey. I'm, I'm pretty sure the 73% 13-year-old Kentucky is wild turkey. And then it's a different mash bill on the 10-year-old Kentucky. And I don't, I don't know where that could be. So if you guys know maybe the, the mash bill breakdown on this, where those two Kentuckys are, that would be cool, but it really doesn't matter. You know why? Because it yeah, I don't care if it you put angel tears in this. All it matters is if it tastes good. I don't care if it's turkey, it could be crap turkey. Or a little more. We're back, baby. Oh no. And no pushing down of grandmothers. 
Yeah, Disco. Okay, so it was Disco 5 that had all the dick all in it. Okay, so James says the 73 was Wild Turkey, and the other one is Heaven Hill. Makes sense. But what's crazy is how this thing tastes. Again, I'll have to shoot my review of it. So when I come out with that video, you guys will all have to just go and rewatch it and leave six comments about how terrible I am and how you've already seen it. I will say, it is much sweeter than, like, um, if you're going, that's why I don't really care if it says, well, that's from Heaven Hill, that's Wild Turkey, because I think when you blend it together, it starts creating its own thing, and it's kind of... It is a blend. Like, I don't smell that and immediately go, oh my god, that's turkey. I can get that in there. But there's such, like, this sweetness to it. And I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe, the, I guess wild turkey can get pretty sweet. Like a cherry pie filling. But this is just, I don't know. It's, I think that's just the, the greatness of the Bardstown guys when they do something right. When they do something right, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just really kind of makes it, it's like its own thing. I got to have one of those glens. I have some more of these. Um, I, I have these in rocks glasses. Um, I, the rocks glass has the, the logo. Let me see if I have it. Commercial. So, I have these. I, I, I'll have to check how many. But, um, I had these, like, I put these out, like, <laughs> it's been a while. Does any of the, is anyone in this chat have these? I had them for sale for, like, I'll have to look. It was like, if you wanted one, it was one price. And then if you got two of either, then it was... Because it was cheap. It's cheaper to ship two of them. So I definitely make the price go down. So. Guy says, I have the rocks glass. It's such a cool rocks glass. Shoot me, guys. Shoot me an email if you're interested in this. Um, cause I can just do like, I need to get rid of some stuff. Cause I gotta get ready for the next batch of Patreon rewards. That's my priority now. That the wedding and everything's down, done. I've paid for everything. Bank account hit it, but. Is your wife going to say hi to the chat tonight? I'll force her to come in here. She ain't home yet. We got to. But shoot me an email and just say, I want... Say, give me the price. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't even know where my phone is. Give me, give me a second. You never know. Maybe she's like, hey, where are you? What the heck?
This is strange. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Where's my phone? Mm -mm. Bourbon Hunter, it's not. Guys, these glasses are not on the site. You need to email me. You need to email me and I tell you, you just, I'll tell you where to send some PayPal and then the next thing you know is this shows up, okay? This is like an off the site thing. This is, this is just in my closet, you know? Um, The next Patreon package is definitely, I'm gonna, now that we're done, we gotta start ordering the stuff. Um, We're gonna have a lot of stuff, again. We always do, this is not, I. this is just past merchandise, okay? We got a lot of stuff coming. We're gonna have, a, we have all sorts of cool things that we do. So, glasses, Kenzie's. I, did, I have no idea. Oh well, let's try this discovery before I go, I have to go find my phone. You didn't leave your phone in Italy, did you? It might be. I don't know where it's at. Hmm. It's in the Coliseum next to the lion's den. James Sicone. James, message retracted. James said he might send another message because I know what his I know what his message said and then it disappeared. Drinking from that Glen now also had cease and desist in Bourbon Ridge Kinsey waiting. <laughs> That's what we're doing next. Also, guys, this is good. I like this. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Again, I think all the Bardstown stuff, I don't like paying 140 bucks for a bottle. I really don't. If you're going to spend 100 and that much money on a bottle, it better be at least this good. You know what I'm saying? It, it makes me go back to the 1924. It's like, this doesn't hold a match to this. So, in that case... I'm just gonna buy this every time, you know? If I can't, you know, as long as you can. Is this worth 140 bucks? I mean, that's up to interpretation, but it's better than the 1924. It's freaking, it's sweet. It's like this cherry sweetness. It's gotta be coming from the turkey. But even on the palate, it's very oaky, but fruity. It's like apple-y. Cinnamon apple. Odyssey Rider, welcome back. I've, my bride, had a baby since you've been gone. Cheers. Yeah. I remember. I remember you guys. Weren't you guys like, you had like a go bag and stuff, ready? Wasn't that, wasn't that you? You were like, man, we're ready to freaking go. I remember that. Uh, but James, James did say, I like your shirt. He didn't, he deleted it, but he liked the shirt. I bought this from some sketchy person. <laughs> Not legit at all, but I, I just, I like this thing. It's everywhere. I had to get, I had to get me a shirt, you know. Does it have that turkey sour oak thing on the finish? Dennis, let me. Sour turkey, like, I'm guessing there's something you don't like about it. Disco 11 or Jefferson's Age and Humidity, if both are supposedly turkey and... Um... Andrew, I have both. I really like the Jefferson... Did I... Did I... I, sh I released a video of that, right? I have a video of that. Go watch my video. I think I did a video. I might have done a video. I feel like I did a video. Um, I will say 
just based on my memory of that and this, these are not even... The aged in humidity is it's it definitely a lot more charry and tannic. Um, as if they, I mean, clearly they tried to manipulate the aging process. It works. I really like it, but you can tell, like just knowing that's what they're doing, you can tell they're manipulating. It's like they're giving you a fake age. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're trying to give you the components of being aged bourbon without having to go to do it. And you can tell. It's like artificial artificial flavoring. I think if you do it really good, it's hard to tell, but they're still like, man, that's kind of like... There's just something missing, and that's what's missing is reality. The actual time of sitting in a barrel for 13 years versus forcing the wo the the whiskey into the wood is deep as deep as you, and hard as you can you know sometimes you just gotta take things slow okay you don't have to be so rough okay and it produces a better experience for everyone. Right? Two severely different products, though. Um, I do like the Jefferson's um, Asian humidity, though. I, I do I, I really do like that um I did there's just no comparison I I get okay maybe they're both turkey they're I don't know I just wouldn't there's no comparison between the two to be honest um I mean maybe I guess I really like that one and I really like this one just don't expect. It's not like you're getting a cheaper version of this, okay? Then maybe that's what I'm getting at. You ain't getting a cheaper version of this. All natural. 12 more likes. Let's go. Dennis says, I like it. It just has that sweet, sour thing. I'm gonna tell you, man. I, I, and I hope, I hope I don't say this, and then you go and buy it, and then you're like, "Trev, freaking hate you." It has that. I think this blend, whatever they blended into it, this does not drink over the top turkey. Okay, I think there's a lot of turkey in this, but I think the mixture of the Heaven Hill and their own stuff, I think, really just kind of. This is its own thing. Okay, I don't... I don't know, I'm not getting any weird thing on the finish. Nothing sour. If anything, I'm almost getting, like, more sweet than sour. Like, I'm getting... It's more like a cherry oak on the back. It's just pleasant. You know, I, I don't know, I just... I think it I think it works. I think the blend really works. Um I it's I don't know. That's all I can tell you. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I if you got and this is this is Trev talking now. This isn't this isn't the freaking this isn't the freaking I'm gonna screw with you and be like I don't know. I, you know you guys know my reviews, right? You know me. I'm a dude. And I work for a living, and I come home and I want to drink whiskey. $140, okay. If you guys buy these, so if you're sitting in, if you're sitting 
watching this stream right now and you have these bottles, then this is who I'm talking to. You already buy this crap. This batch, I think, is worth getting. <laughs> I mean, there you go. There, th that's what I'm going to have to say. Um, Comparatively to freaking batch five and six, you know what I'm saying? It's worth getting. Amy, here comes the boom. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But so much love for you, Trev, and the missus, and all you nerds. Cheers, Amy. Amy. <laughs> I love you. Michael Switzkederg. Did I say that right? Am I watching Trev or the love doctor with that last explanation of aging? <laughs> Michael, slow, slow it down, brother. I want, I, I want, I want all the guys in here. I want to teach you a very, very valuable lesson. Okay. Right. Gentle. You're not, you're not jamming, you're playing the game. You know what I'm saying? If you get it, you get it. And if you don't, it will make sense eventually. Just, just gently. Dr. Love Trev. Dr. Dr. T Love. What are you doing with those knobs, dude? Better look next time, bro. You'll understand. It, it, there's gonna be there's gonna come a point in your life where you're doing something, and then all of a sudden that's about to pop in your brain, and you're gonna go, oh my god. That's what Trev was freaking talking about. And you would be correct. One of these days, my friend. Let's get some more of this on there. <laughs> Hit that like button. What's up, Joe the Sample Guy? Ron Wills, hello. What are you up to? What are you guys drinking at this point in, in the night? Um... We're going to wrap up this stream here in, I don't know, who knows. I think I know where my phone is. I want all of you that are going to stay here, because I don't know where else you would be going. <laughs> Tom, I need a cigarette after that. Go fill up your glass, get you some in your glass. If you are going to get some in your glass and you don't know what to get and you have this, that's what I'm pouring next. So if you have this, go get it because we're going to talk about this son of a biatch. We might drink two of them. So get some in your glass. Eric Gunderson. Cheers, everyone just got home. Let's go, Eric. First pour, finally, Knob Creek 12. Let's go. So what I want you to do, this is what I want all of you to do while I got to walk to the other side of the house because I think my phone's in there. No, Andrew, this is, um, this one's only 50.4. This is our latest barrel pick. I think there's still a couple of these available. It's 50.4, but it's 10 year old MGP. It's a boo rye. Which I've learned. I don't know if I've actually said this. Um, I feel like this is something I learned afterwards. This Burai, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm, let me make sure I'm getting this correct. It's a 10-year-old bourbon. So, it, it, okay. I feel like most boo ryes are, you take a bourbon, you take a rye, you blend them together, and then you age it. I think this one was 10-year-old bourbon, fully aged to 10. 10-year-old rye, fully aged to 10, and then blended together. I don't know. Maybe it's backwards. It's whatever they don't typically do for a boo rye. James, I don't hate you at all, piece of crap. <laughs> I didn't buy this one because I really don't like MGP. I would say this would... I'm not trying to sell it on you. Don't don't let me try and do that. It This does not taste like a Penelope smoke wagon. Any of that crap. Um, But don't... I'm not... You don't have to, dude. Come on. You already do so much for this channel. Skip it, bro. I ain't trying to sell you guys nothing. I mean, I am, but I'm not. I don't care. Freaking love you. So, give me 37 seconds. Okay, so you have it backwards. Age together, normal is separate. That's that's it. Okay, Andrew Kelly. It's 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 backwards. Um, this this was done different. I think Gene said that it was blended early. So that's what it was. So they they boo ride it. You know, they boo ride it and then aged it together the 10 years. That makes more sense. Um, because it does not, like, th this does not, and we're going to get into it. This does not taste like a boo ride at all. This is like straight up freaking bourbon. Delicious bourbon. <laughs> so. Very weird. It's it's crazy. What like how does this dude come across it? Like how do you find this stuff? You know, get something in your glass, especially if it's cease and desist. All right, the chair can't get out of the frame. Sorry. I found it. <laughs> it's in the laundry room. <laughs> I found it. I picked up my phone, I got like 12 text. Hope this helps you find your phone. Can I buy that? Give me a good price. All right, we all set. Let's drink some cease and desist. What's up, life from the patio? Wax kind of like knob, not as crumbly. I cut mine, dude. I just take an, um, this. 
slice through that sucker. I think Gene said it was blended early on. This does not have the typical MGP profile. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, if you look at the other picks I have, none of them have been this low this fast. I'm just going to throw that out there. I am really, really liking this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Janelle, did you pour this? It ha it's very spicy. That's got to be coming from the rye, but it's got some oaky. This is 10 years old. This is, this is 10. And it's what, 70? This is 10 and it's 115. Both 10. I love chicken. This one comes with a sticker. It's the same broom. It's 50.4. This was not planned. The oak is is definitely there. That's what my first impression was like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that kind of reminds me of like a spicier version of that. I don't know. I, I don't want to be that guy. I really don't. This might be better than that. I'm getting lemon. It's got to be coming from the rye. I can kind of see where I I would not I get what you're calling lemon for sure, Andrew. It's like to me, it's like oaky bourbon. Like the bourbon is definitely there. Um, there's the, the, the zesty. It's like a zesty bourbon. I bet you that would be freaking good in an old fashioned too. Now that you say that. It's just, I just love drinking that. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, I feel like something you guys will learn with the picks that we put out are bottles that you just want to, you want to just keep drinking them. Are they the most freaking intricate? Oh, you got to sit there and smell it for three years. No, we don't. I want you to drink it and then I want you to pour another and then I want you to pour another. This is just so Drink. I just want to keep drinking this. Hence why I already threw this bottle and I got more. It's just... It's just simply good. There's this... That's all there is to it. I don't need Jesus' tears, okay? I need good whiskey that I want to just keep drinking. I can drink this now. I can walk out there and pour it. It's kind of just like a crushable bottle. I will say, I'm, I'm going to take back some of what I said. The rye really keeps it from being like dark chocolate. Like this, dark chocolate. Dark, dark. This is a bit more fresh, for sure. Um, I still, without comparing it to these other things, I still don't know if I would call it like a boo rye or anything but when you do it's clear um there is that zesty spicy freaking like red hots um like i'm feeling it and it's only 50 freaking percent and i'm feeling it cinnamon red hot um i'm i'm really liking i'm really liking that um lemon call it does not I mean, I don't know, maybe they're getting much stronger lemon. But to me, it's more like a lemon zest. Like, um, 
like an Angostura bitters. It's got that just kind of like a zesty aroma. It's like you took, oh, like seriously, take like a bourbon, take like an old fashioned, and then you just sh shoot a little lemon zest over over top of it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, I think it's, that's what it is. It's definitely there, but it's not like, it's not like you're drinking lemons. Very, it's, it's, I think it's very interesting. Cali Drams has been a member for 18 months, says, Cease and Desist pick is my favorite since the Sugget Morai. The Sugget Morai probably is, and prob it might forever be our best pick ever. I'm just going to throw that out there. That was a special beast. Here's where I have a problem, is that maybe that was so good that you didn't want to drink it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this one is so good that it's second, but I want, I can drink it. You know what I'm saying? There's like a line of, there comes a point where you just stop drinking something because it's too good. And it's like, I want to save, I want to hold on to this. I feel like this fits the line of, yeah, it's not... This is not Sug It More Rye good, but it is so good that you can keep drinking it. You know what I'm saying? Am I am I wrong to say that? Hmm. It's simply delicious. I, I will say, kind of going back to James. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of getting some of the MGP. I'm really only getting it, though, after all of these other bottles. But I, I can't lead you guys astray. I will never do that. Um, so I'm not... James, I'll gladly send you a sample of it, just so you can see. Um, but I don't... I'm, I'm kind of getting some of that MGP-ness. Only after having everything else. I would have never thought of it until, like, tonight. And then you said that, and then now I'm kind of... Kind of getting it. Is Hawk on your hand for the sticker? Yeah, absolutely. freaking -lutely. What do you mean? I mean, I'm a, I'm a criminal, right? You know? <laughs> what else do criminals do? My favorite thing is the little... The little eye. James, I'll send you a sample and let you try it. Getting some peanut brittle. So Bourbon Hunter says, maybe have the wife pour you a blind for video content. I might need to just start having her pour me blinds for all videos. I still have three-fourths bottle of my Sug It More because I don't want it to go. I still have... I have a full bottle there. That might be my only full bottle, and behind it's my other one. I don't know if I have a second backup. I'll have to check my barrel of goodies. Um, but I did buy... I bought two backups of this. I bought three. I might buy... I honestly might buy a couple more. I might give... I might buy a couple to give them as, like, gifts. And then... Another for me. It, it, like, this is one I want to keep drinking. You know what I'm saying? The Super Proofers. The Super Proofers, I think, is so freaking good. But it's like, you got to be... I don't want to keep drinking hazmat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be careful with drinking the hazmat. Or else you'll die. 
this is one you can just keep like i just want to pour this non-stop um andrew surfling i'd love one but can't ship to massachusetts any workarounds um email me um because i might i might buy some for me you know what i'm saying and um there could be an extra bottle in there and then um you email me and then um You know, you don't have to go to the website, and then all of a sudden, um, my partner at the shipping place and deliver. You know what I'm saying? Next picks to drop are um the bull run, bull run. bull run we have two bull runs they're both gonna be less i think there's about i forgot what the the final totals were it's a lot of bottles but you it's one of those things that i would encourage all of you to get one of each so we have two barrels dropping and they're both less than 50 dollars um i would encourage you just to buy I don't know, one of each, or if you're feeling frisky, two of each, like me. I buy like three of each. Um, they're, they're severely different. So that's why I'm like, try both. The price is good. Um, yeah, those are coming. Those will be the next, probably, those are coming April. I didn't even notice the I love chicken. I'm getting a slight cherry on the finish as well. David Smith, we're the same person. Who all will I meet in Iowa? So, um, I posted on Patreon. This is a Patreon only event, so I'm sorry. But, if you guys remember I, I'm, I'm gonna give a little backstory because this all happened when I was out. I wasn't even in the country when this was going down, and I'm like, holy crap. We did a pick, and during that pick, I forgot. I honestly, I forgot even what freaking pick it was. But we sent out golden tickets. So if you bought a bottle, there was a potential of you getting a golden ticket, which means you get to come on a pick with us. Well, what we decided was, so we were getting ready, we were gearing up to do this next pick with the winners that were able to come. And then we said, why, like, why don't we just invite everyone like, they can show up. Um, the winners can do their pick. We get to do the pick with them. And then everyone can just come and hang out and drink. Yeah, Ron, it was the jugs. That's how this whole meetup came to be. So, in May, we are doing a meetup at Cat's Eye Distillery. So, I think... I. I I don't know, Mark, I might be just like confusing two things. I think that's maybe that's how we just came to this. We'll have to see. I feel like that's how it came to be though, was hey, why don't we just do a meetup at Cat's Eye? Because Mark, I, weren't you one of the winners? Hey. Regardless of what I say, there's it might it might not be the pick that you won how do i say this 
Have I dug myself into a hole? Mark, you want to be there. <laughs> anyway, May. Cat's Eye Distillery. I invited the patrons. It's it. I get it. It's in the middle of freaking nowhere. I have to take several flights just to get there. But we'll be there. I'm putting, I'm painting what you're putting down. Andrew, email me. Bourbonranch at gmail.com is where you want to go. <laughs> Play. Trip, now that you're through the wedding, I'm going to keep nudging you about an early fall meetup out your way. My plan, I definitely want to do a freaking... We got to get that wrench meetup. Um, especially because... So, the huge field that I'm planning the wrench meetup on... It's a massive field. Um, it's at my parents' house. My dad just built this huge freaking shop on the land. Like, even better. Even better. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have a good time. Um, Janelle, your blind flight arrived safe. Wise guy says, Trev, pour a little sample D. St Stu, I was... You want me to pour a little bit of it? I was definitely gonna do your blind flight on a live stream. So, a little bit. Because if I do your blind, you can't tell me what it is. So you just want me to drink that and tell my thoughts and then not tell? Have you poured the feather bone? Feather bone. I haven't tried that. Feather bone. Feather bone bourbon. Well, oh, that's also. Is that what you're talking about? Is this is. So that's another journeyman distillery. I don't. I don't know. Have, have any of you guys tried that one? I don't know anything about journeyman other than the corsets. Stu says yes, just taste it. He ain't gonna tell us. So the people, so journeyman makes featherbone. This bottle is corsets, whips, and whiskeys. Dennis says it's a great pour. I would love to try their other stuff. Like, this is amazing stuff. I think they're freaking killing it. Let me pour a little sample of Stu's D. I try and keep everything very organized. Oh yeah. It's 
do the <laughs> guys we just found the song it's in this playlist Let's try Stu's D. Just a little bit. Now I will say, he, Stu uses the Liquid Ministry fancy freaking thing. This is the thing that uh, Tony Bag of Donuts sent me and it sliced me open or something similar. Oh, dude, I can pour more of that. I heard Stu only has a little D. <laughs> Tony Bag of Donuts is like, whoa, I didn't tell you, dude. Tony, you sent me, did you not, it was the Eagle Rare 17 or something, and it sliced me open. Do you not, you remember that? There we go. Dude, it freaking cut me. Here's um uh, here's uh Stu's D. It smells good. So he said you're either gonna love it or you're hating it. Is this John Wick tune? <laughs> if you um all of the music tonight, if you look up, go to YouTube and type in White Bat Audio. All of his stuff, royalty free. There's no, you just, you just say it's from him, I guess. It's free. So check him out. That This is my call out. White Bat Audio. Um. He, that's all this is all he does is this type of music so highly recommend if you just want to listen but dude I freaking love this stuff it's like it's kind of hardcore you know I like it this particular video we're listening to right now is called Three hour cyberpunk industrial dark synth wave mix. Ether. Twitch safe royalty free music. Has a big old orange skull in the middle of it. That's the playlist of tonight. Love it. Cheers. Go check them out. Vader Raid. Where the heck are you at now? Let's try Stu's D. That's high. That's hot. That's that's hot. That's hot proof. Hmm. Very good. Very high proof. That's like the highest proof thing I've tried. I think I think Stu made me drink this because it's probably like hazmat or something. It does not it does not smell that way. If you like this, you should check out Aim to Head here on YouTube. I mean, I'll play it if it's royalty free. I can only play this because YouTube won't try and put me into prison. They won't do that. I can play like real music, but they just copyright it and I can't make money, which like I ain't making money off of ads on my live stream. So I can play whatever really. I just play royalty free stuff. 
Bro, struggling. Some of my equipment shit the bed at the same time. Been a, a lot of late night. What are you, what's going on, bro? Just shared a band with you that fits this groove. Maybe a little less chill. Where? Everybody from Michigan love, likes to taste the D. Cali Drams. Did you um did you watch the um the Padres freaking Dodgers game in Korea? I enjoy I prefer white snack. White snake. <laughs> White snake. <laughs> Not hazmat, only clue, but it's up your alley. When is Pours in the Park this year? Stu, I don't, it's hard because, you know, I've been drinking tonight, but it smells freaking delicious. I mean, it's, it's got to be barrel proof. Okay, maybe uh, hazmat, I was just going for it. But it's, it's barrel proof. It's got to be. That is high proof. It's only 110 to 115. He does not indicate that on the nose, but when I drink it, it's like, shoot. <laughs> Dang. Faderate says radar and a missile launcher. So when you say some of my equipment shit the bed, so the radar and missile launcher, same week, both down hard, damn near electrocuted myself. Need to get a pour in. Let's go, guys. Raise your glass right now, Fader Aid. You know, you guys know. Um, you know, naval personnel are like they're down, like they're on my shit list. You know, they're way low. They're way they're like Fader Aid's like way down here. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, I still love him more than most people. Okay. Okay. You can't make fun of him, I can't. Type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, let's raise a glass. Faderade's obviously been in the shitter this week. Um. So. I'm just gonna say cheers to Faderade, who's actively serving this country. So better than me <coughs> even though he's navy fader eight i freaking love you bro um you remind me every day every time i talk to you you remind me how much i'm glad that i'm not in <laughs> I, I can't even imagine though like i can't imagine like it's so it's such a different beast like it, it's crazy to think about like when i was in it was like oh yeah i was in charge of a three million dollar tank a tank a striker is the size of a freaking honda civic compared to a or compared to like a freaking child battery operated humvee compared to a freaking naval destroyer you know what i'm saying like it's it's not even the same like i just i can't imagine like when does that break like were you were you out training like were you at port 
what what happens if it breaks and you're out like i don't know on a mission throughout the mediterranean what do you do then i mean it's just like things you don't think about his radar shit the bed what do you do then if you're in the middle of the ocean what do you do then it's stuff you don't think about you know like how are we fixing this bro that's crazy people who enjoy being covered in semen normally have a life being soaked <laughs> If radar breaks, you just got to use the telescope. Okay, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> it's just crazy to me, man. I don't know. Shoot, I don't know. There were things... So, I feel like, like what I operated in, far simpler of a thing, but even like minute things would ground that vehicle. So, like, heat, F off. You don't need heat. You want to kill people? You want to kill the enemy? You don't need heat. You need the gun. You need guns. Do your guns work? So, it was like, it. I don't care. Like, oh, wow, your freaking heater stopped. Um, You're cold. I don't freaking give a cock. Go, like, your gun works. Shoot him. I feel like, though, there were things on my truck Oh yeah, my gun doesn't swivel. Done. You're out. I feel like on a ship, like radar, that's like deadline. That'll deadline it, you know? Like, or whatever part of your, you know, I don't know. Without giving too much of what you got, radar going down, that's a, I feel like we need radar, <laughs> you know? Oh, I don't know. I freaking love it. Do a lot of work for the DOD. You can't thank all enough true heroes. Hey, we love over here. Military veterans. Through and through. We support each other over here. We like to have fun. We got a lot of we got a lot of vets and we got a lot of active duty people over here. I try not to give too much information on our active duty guys. Um, but we got active duty guys and they're freaking crushing it right now. As we speak. It's the way it should be. They need a place. They need a place to come and unwind and freaking drink. You know what I'm saying? Their radars are down. Come get a pour, bro. I'm not a huge fan, huge Makers fan, but the BOH pick is good. It's better than mine. Cheers to all who have served. To all the that all that served and all who have served. Thank you all, Dennis. <clears throat> Let's do one more, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Um, we got a big day tomorrow. Um, I, I don't want to tell you what's going on tomorrow, because they're... I don't know. I don't want to make promises that I cannot fulfill. There very well may be a live stream tomorrow, maybe like a midday live stream. Think one o'clock, two o'clock, maybe. Okay, maybe. Um, it might be on a cell phone. Okay, it's not going to be anything crazy. Just keep your eye. Just put that in the back of your brain. Mark Vasco and Christine Vasco. Of course we're doing one more. Like, like I'm not just ending it. 
I figured we'd go until we got another 20 minutes. I don't like ending it in the middle of the hour. We'll go to nine. We might do two more. But at nine, I'm ending it. What are you guys thinking? We just drank this. I'll drink whatever you guys are drinking, though. Be right back. Gonna go piss. What's next? That is a lot of cease and desist. I love this bottle. So of course I'm gonna bring it. What are you guys thinking? Sports of Kings, let's go. I'm sipping peach sparkling water. Took a tram at all earlier. Okay. Mr. Mom, what's going on with you? You got back pain? Lower back pain? I'm guessing. Tram it all. I don't know. I feel like they give that we give that a lot for back. Maybe hip or knee. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All the Vascos go into Cat's Eye. Let's go. Come on, Vascos. What do y'all... What do you want to pour? You said we'll pour something with you. Andrew Surfling, what do you got, bro? I need someone to tell me what to drink. Maybe thinking Penelope nine year. I can do that. Kevin Cam Kevin Campbell. Listen here, Kevin. I want to be able to see. I want to be able to see. Let's do it. Ron Jam. Ooh, that would be good. Man, this is this is why I hate drinking with you guys, because I'm like a degenerate. You just name something and I'm gonna drink it. Oh, what's that? Penelope Knight. Oh, oh, you didn't see this? Oh, you didn't know that I was married? <laughs> I'm married. Yeah. Penelope, nine year. This is, um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. 
Uh, this is like my third Penelope. Nine year. This is this is probably one of my favorite things they've put out. Uh, this is some good stuff. This is this is it. You know what I'm saying? Like they 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 did it. Now I don't know. James B doesn't like MGP stuff. He might still not like this. I think all of us. It's 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 so much better. I don't know. I did, it's just so freaking good. Steve Cribben. That I, I'm gonna tell you right now. Two things. One. Steve Cribben has never once spoke in this chat. So let's welcome Steve Cribben right now. Drop some love for Steve Cribben. Steve Cribben is chilling. He's watching with Wilmington Piper. Wilmington Piper is like one of the hugest supporters of the Bourbon Ranch. And now he's bringing Steve mother friggin' Cribben into this. So cheers. Let's go, Steve. I'm sure, I'm sure your Wilmington Piper is feeding you some delicious bourbon. Or maybe, maybe you're the bourbon guy and you're feeding him bourbon. Either way, you guys are hanging out drinking bourbon. That's all that freaking matters. Join a Friday. Steve is piping the Piper. <laughs> Janelle says, I'll pour a Penelope pick. Let's go. Let's get some Penelope going. I don't want it. You guys know I always spoil everything. I did a bourbon hunting video in Italy. One of the bottles. This is the only spoiler you'll get. One of the bottles was Penelope. It wasn't like some super cool Penelope. It was the regular bourbon. There was a Penelope bottle on the shelf in Italy. Like what is how that the, the whole video guys, you're going to watch this video and you're going to be so confused. Like just the the spread of bourbon, you're going to be very confused. I, I I think you're I think you'll enjoy it. So yeah, Penelope. It's in Italy. <laughs> they got Penelope in Europe. No, Josh Fritz. Again, you'll watch the video and you'll realize why there is no honeymoon hall. You just gonna have to watch the video, dude. I'm telling you, it's it, it's a good video. <laughs> I even... I even... took you guys, so... There will come a point in the video where I say, there you go, that's the end of the video. But then the video goes on for another three minutes, and I highly encourage you just to watch the whole video. Okay. So like I, I go through all the bottles that we, you know, don't buy. Um, and then there's like a three minute afterwards. Okay. I'm spoiling everything. I think I'll drop this. I, I'm going to, I'm going to put this uh, video out Monday. I already got it. It's, it's ready to go. Thumbnail, everything. Yeah, Will T, we're still live, brother. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best bottles Penelope's ever put out. I'm telling you right now. Sounds like bourbon is expensive AF in Italy. Have you, have you already watched the video, Odyssey? How the freak do you know that? <laughs> Guys, it's... 
It's wild. So, le okay, let me let me tell you this. So, for all of you who are still here, we can we can say whatever we want right now. I'm not going to talk any more about the video. I'll give you some background. Um, when while we were over in Italy, um, there are stores. So they don't have like liquor stores don't exist over there. Like, the place I found in the video is the closest thing to a liquor store that you will find, period. Um, shoot, I almost would call it a liquor store. Everything else is called, um, you will find places called Enotecas. Eno, Enoteca. Wine. It's all wine, and then they'll have, like, six bottles of whiskey, three bourbon, you know, it's like they don't drink freaking bourbon over there, over there. So, um, I went to several Inotecas. In, in an Inoteca, you would go in there, and it, it's a wine shop, so it, it, imagine a liquor store but the size of a closet, like it's like a hallway and the walls are all wine and you can buy any bottle of wine, but you, they also have like, they, like they'll let you try things. So they have like open bottles of wine and stuff. You go in there and be like, yeah, I want a glass of wine. Oh yeah, that's three bucks. And they'll give you a glass of wine and you can drink it and whatever. Um, and then they'll have like Jack Daniels. They'll have Knob Creek. They'll have bullet that's like the most three things right um this store i found was a much it was huge it was freaking massive and they had like this was the largest bourbon selection that i found you you guys will be very i think you'll watch the video and just be like shocked at all the prices um very random bottles so don't expect to see i mean you'll you'll recognize pretty much every bottle i talk about but it's not what you're expecting it's like very random bottles at very crazy prices i i think you'll really enjoy the video i was shocked i i mean i was like what the f is this like how for one why is this bottle here why like out of all of this, why is this here? And then why is it that price? Like, none of this makes sense. It, it, it was fun. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it might be the it might be the international thing. I really couldn't tell you. Inateca literally means wine repository. Um, if you look on Google Maps, so the place I went in my video. Um, the outside of the store was not called an Enoteca. It was called a Batiglieria. When you look at it on Google Maps, it they still call it an Enoteca. So if you go, if you find my the store I went to in the video on Google Maps, you scroll in, it's called an Enoteca. So... I, it's it's confusing, it, it really is, because I'm telling you the store I went into is much larger than any other Enoteca that I went to. I and I we went to a lot of Enotecas, and I didn't film them because you'd go in there and it would be like ten thousand bottles of wine and then like three whiskeys, and it was like the same whiskey. So I just didn't film it. Um, this place had, it was like a liquor liquor store Dennis got to head out cheers nerds cheers buddy I'm glad you're here glad you caught up with us no not biblio not biblioteca it was called a but but 
but Botigliaria, like bottle, bot Botigliaria. It was spelled like bottle ligaria, Botigliaria. What's up, Whiskey Rocks? Let's see if I can do something. For those of you who are still here. Here we go. I'll show you guys some like behind the scenes. There you go. Yes, Andrew Surfling, particularly area. That's it. Hitting the DNA 115. So this was in front of, um, I'm drunk. So this building right here is like a freaking castle and it connects to um, St. Peter's uh, where the Pope lives. Here, I'll, I'll put more up. We bought a fake Louis Vuitton. Um, on the same bridge is where that photo was taken. Rome. I'm just going through random photos from my camera. So these are unedited, just like, this is raw. Oh yeah, look at that. That's Florence for you. <laughs> I don't even remember taking this photo. <laughs> like, I don't even know, like, why, what am I taking a photo of? <laughs> All the random photos, I mean, like, I got thousands of them. Yeah, okay, Castel San Angelo, that's what it was. There she is. That's the same photo, but that's Castel St. Angelo. Right here. Here, here's a good here's a good shot of Florence. This is the the Duomo.
Here's the um, here's the copy of David. This is in the Piazza uh, Michelangelo. Piazza Michelangelo in Florence. There's this copy of David. Here we go. I think this is such a sick photo. This is not edited at all. Like this is just straight from my camera. Um, I mean, look at that. Like that's freaking awesome. You get the Duomo. You get the um, whatever. What what the freak is that called? I'm drunk. Um. Yeah, I can't even think about it. You see this tower far left? Far left is the tower. Um, it's called uh, the Arno Tower. The Vecchio. Vecchio. Piazza Vecchio. And then you got the, um, the Duomo over to the right. And then you got all of Florence. And that's unedited. Just wait until I color correct that. I mean, that's going to look amazing. So that's why we're... That's from the same place we took the fake David. And then this was kind of at nighttime. You got the sunset. I jumped off that in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I need more whiskey. What are we drinking, mother suckers? I'm about to pour more freaking. I'm pouring more of this. If if we keep drink if we keep doing this, I'm drinking more. You guys can do whatever you want. You guys can just go watch another live stream. We're, we're looking at photos now. Here, I'll do this. Yeah. So you see this, um, the Duomo. We're not doing that. You're getting the full photo. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? All right, so this is the same basically the same okay it's it's pretty grainy because i haven't edited it because but that's the same exact spot kind of um you'll see over here on the far right you see this illuminated church that's the um um it's called the crochet and then you got the duomo in the middle and then you got the uh piazza vecchio the vecchio tower or whatever arno tower Yeah, that photo needs to be some edited. It's not that clear. Here's just one of just, um, that's the Ponte Vecchio. That's the famous bridge. Ponte Vecchio. And then you'll see all the other bridges, but the, the one in the middle is the, is the famous one. Here is right on my face. Here's the Pantheon in Rome. I think most of my coolest photos are from from, from uh, Florence. We got all sorts of these like, I mean, look at this. I mean, that doesn't even need editing. Like, look at that. That was just in the middle of the city. What's up, Whiskey Juice? Did you do a time lapse? No, I did Um, I did several videos. Like, I have so much, man. Like, it's going to take me some time to, like, put this stuff together. Have we done Malort? We're at 109 likes.
Everyone, remember. We still have these bottles for sale. I love you. Andrew, I got you, bro. I saw your email. What's going to happen, Andrew, and for everyone who's emailed me or whatever, you're going to get a drunken email here in about... Oh, we're over time. You'll get an email here in a second. Is nothing. I don't even freaking care. There's the Arno. Not the Arno, the freaking... Yeah, we're drunk. We're drunk. Can't, I can barely tell you what's going on. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the big old tower. Okay, I can I can make a little I can make a face now. That's freaking balls. So that's Piazza Navona. Um, here's where Caesar got stabbed. You know Julius Caesar? Yeah, stabbed to piss there. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but that's my it's my wife. No big deal. It's freaking hot. I don't even remember taking that picture. Okay, so this is um that's St. Peter's. Yeah, so the freaking Pope, dude. The Pope, that's Saint that's St. Peter's Basilica right there. That's all, this is all the Vatican. What a babe. Oh, that's a pretty cool... This is a pretty cool shot. I mean, it's blurry as piss, but... You got the Arno Tower over to the right. Okay, here's here's a good one. There's the Colosseum. But it gets even better. Oh yeah. What's up, Fly Fisher, dude? You're freaking late as piss.
Good salad dressing. The Ides of March are past us, thankfully. He had a great salad. Did you ring the doorbell? Was that person in the car flipping you off? Are you not entertained? Let me look. Oh yeah, this is probably good. The heck? Didn't open. This is probably one of my favorite shots. Um, this is the Roman Forum. You get this church, you get this... Uh, like, you can see the Colosseum off to the right. This is probably one of my favorite photos. Unedited. Let me say, I can make... This will look so much cooler when I'm done editing it. This is straight from my camera. Um, so this is, all of these are unedited photos. This is just straight from my camera. Um, this is before I go in and do my magic, but god dang, this is easily one of my favorite photos. I just, the Roman Forum, man, just really, like, this shot right here, I freaking love it. I mean, it, it's just, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the columns and... With the church in the back, I don't know. This is this is it for me. This is one of my favorite shots uh, of Rome. Like even over the Colosseum, I just I just love the um, whatever that was. Like that was like a temple. I just I just love it. I love that crap. It's just incredible. Time for some push-ups. Did you land lucky with Ben Holiday? No. Bro, I've only been I've only been back home in the United States of America for the past six days. I, I missed all of that. I what's crazy, guys, it's, this is how far out of the loop I feel. I get back like so. I posted a lot of photos to um, Patreon. Um, I think the Patreon guys, you guys have seen way cooler photos. I, I edited a lot and I posted it over there. Um, that was it. Like I had enough internet to post those photos. And then I got to Florence and I couldn't post any. Like my internet, it just shit the bed. Like I could not do anything. So, I was, I don't know what was going on over here. I would post something, and then that was it. I, I couldn't talk to anyone. But then I get back, and all I see is this Ben Holiday this and Ben Holiday that, and I'm like, what the freak is going on? Amazon. Back. Love the post. You did great. I, I, I honestly... So my plan... 
if any patrons are in here right now my plan so i did i posted every night in rome um when we got to florence i could not post anything like every time i would i went to go and post it would say it failed and it was like that the entire time we were in florence um every place we went to i would connect to their what their wi-fi and see if it would upload and it would not upload like i could not upload anything in florence which is crazy i posted four nights in a row in rome and then i couldn't post anything in florence so i tried i mean i was literally trying every day um i was wherever we went if they had wi-fi i would connect to their wi-fi and i would see if it would post and it would not post everywhere and i i'm talking we went i connected to several wi -Fi. Good night, Miracle Martinez. Thanks for sharing the pics. Glad to have you back. Good night, y'all. Happy Easter. Absolutely happy Easter. Um, yeah, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a toast that might be very controversial, but I don't care. Um, you guys either love me or hate me. Uh, we're very inclusive to everyone around here, but. Um, I don't know, this is Good Friday, and, um, Easter Sunday, and, um, is, as much of a degenerate as Trev is, uh, we still love Jesus, and I feel like this weekend is all about Jesus, so, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a couple of you I'm gonna leave you a song I'm gonna leave a couple of you guys some music to go listen to if you love like metal um if you guys love screaming music Okay. There's a song I want you to go listen to this weekend only. The band is called In the Midst of Lions. The song is called He is Risen. You are not expecting what you're about to listen to. Um I just want to raise a glass. I'm I'm going to raise a glass to everyone. Um, for several reasons. One, I'm glad that you guys are back watching me. I disappeared and you still showed up. Two, I missed you guys. Three, cheers to Friday. We made it another week. Four, happy good Friday. Maybe some of you guys need Jesus. Five. He is risen. I don't care to get religious or political over here because I'll fight you. And I'm stronger than you. So, <laughs> suckers. We might be, um... Raging alcoholics, but um, sure do love Jesus over here on the Bourbon Ranch, so I don't give a flying piss. Um, I'll get religious over here because I can, because it's my channel. <laughs> Everyone else is too scared. I'm drunk and I'm talking about Jesus. I love him. And I'm about to jam out again. Go listen to this song and tell me you don't feel weird. It's freaking hardcore. Cheers, guys. Um, hey, no, seriously. Um, I freaking love you guys. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad to see you guys. 
I've had a great night. Um, I got a video dropping Monday. Please go watch it. Like, if anything, I would say if anything, if you don't care about any of my videos, just watch the video and then go watch like the back three minutes of it. Because I, 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 I wanted to do a little bit of, um, I, I experimented and I wanted to see, I don't know, you just please go and watch it. Um, it's, it's definitely not as good as I want it to be. But I did something different, and I, I don't know, I would love for you guys to go and watch that. So whenever that video drops, um, Monday, I'm dropping it Monday, please go watch that. Um, and I encourage you all to tell me what you like and don't like, because I want to do more stuff like that, and I want to know, like, guide me what... What do you want to see less of and what do you want to see more of in that setting? So don't feel bad like, hey, Trev, do I love I love the video, but maybe do more of this. So I know what to do more of it. it, it just go and watch it. Um, I appreciate all of you who have supported, I mean all of you have supported, but man, during our, our wedding, our honeymoon, um, so many of you have bought things off the registry, so many of you have super chat, like, seriously, love you guys. I mean, it's so appreciated. Um, it's just unreal, the amount of support that you've given us. Um, I mean, we could... I, I, can, I can never re, repay you or thank you enough. And... Um, that's it. Let's cheers. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me, this channel. Thank you for supporting my now wife. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> Thank you for supporting us. Um, I just, seriously, thank you so much. You can repay us at Pours in the Yard. Joe Dickinson, you have no idea what you're signing up for, brother. What's up, Travis? Hey, I love you guys. So, you'll see me Monday. Um, I have to shoot reviews over this mother sucker. So, that might also come next week. So, there might be multiple videos next week. Um, otherwise... See you Monday for a video, and then see you next Friday for another live stream. We're back at it. We're back at it. I'm married now. Suck a butt. Love you guys. We better, yeah, Callie, we better watch so many. Baseball season just started. We better have a good time, everybody. Um,. Thank you for all the super chats. Bourbon Hunter, we popped your cherry. <laughs> we got freaking virgins in here. We literally busting virgins in the bourbon ranch. So. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Let's get out of here. I got to. I got a I got a big day tomorrow. You guys will Patreon Patreon will see the photos. I cannot I do not want to spoil it, but there's a day tomorrow and I think it'll be pretty funny. And a reminder, there might be a live stream, there might not. We'll see. 
there's something going on tomorrow is what I'm saying. And I got to go drink more starting at noon. So cheers. Love ya. Ciao. Arrivederci. Uh, Joe Dickinson ist ein scheiße Kopf. Buongiorno. All right, that's it. Streams ended. Yeah, 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 yeah. This song's bussin'. I'm still alive. Good thing I didn't get nude. What's up, Toby? Sometimes you just gotta get rid of the weaklings. No other channel on the face of YouTube will do what we do over here at the Bourbon Ridge! We have energy! We have energy! No one else does! It comes at Everyone in this in this community is weak. They don't know what to have fun. We have fun. They just, they, they, they haven't been there. They, they haven't been, we're, we're the two time. We're the two time. Yes, Cali Dreams, please have another, cause I'm gonna have another. Miss Rinche at home, I think she can sleep on her parents' couch. So we're going to listen to all of our music 
and then we're gonna get off. And we got rid of everyone else. All of the boring people are gone. And now it's all the fun people. Ready? Let's go! Let's go! Fill your freaking glass! Fill your This is free Patreon because I've missed you guys! It comes at last! Everyone in the chat who is right here, if you're in the chat right now, you need to wake up. Let's go, William Hindo. Wake up! What are we drinking? Please, someone, tell me what to pour. Someone, and it better not be Stag Jr. Kevin Campbell, if you're still in here, F off. No, 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 no. Faderade, F off, dude. Give, give me something real. Don't try and kill me. Give me something like, what are you drinking right now? What are you, what are we drinking? Don't, don't try and kill me. Kevin can't, look, I have no idea. Thank God. Don't try and kill me, what are you drinking? What's up, Tyler Smith? Going big tonight, wild turkey oil. I don't know, Calumet, Evans and Pike, Knob Creek 12. I mean, you got some good ones. How many people are still here? At? I mean, we're like, we're a couple hours in. Um, do you want to, um, do you guys want to like, I don't, according to the, do you guys want to like break the law right now? And I'm only saying that because the piece of paper that they sent me. The piece of paper they sent me said that I couldn't say anything until yesterday. So that means I can I can talk about it now, right? It said like you can't say anything until the 28th. In in according to my drunk eyes, I'm seeing the 29th. So, you guys will be the first people to have ever seen this. Um, 
their Instagram page hasn't even announced this. That's what I'm saying. It's like, this is like, dude. Can't confirm it's the 29th. It's the 29th. It's 29th. I mean, there's only like a couple of you. We have to do it. Or should we do something else? Should we do something else? Let it rip. Good, because this is the favorite song we've done. So you guys know Eric Church, right? I'm spilling the whole beans. He came out with this whiskey. He's dropping a new mother freaking whiskey. Eric Church. The piece of paper said the 28th, so F them. What's up, Big Vic? Good to see you, bro. Whose juice is it? What's Toby Garman? What's up, bro? Um, I can't tell you exactly whose juice it is, Toby. Um, I'm going to interview... Um, let me, let me turn this down a little bit. I'm going to turn uh, interview Ari again. It says distilled in Kentucky and Indiana. Um, that's all I can give you. And, and I'm going to tell you. So, Fly Fisher. This bottle, 200. This bottle, 60. 260. This is the new one. This is like, I'm telling you guys, you're. this is the first you'll ever see it. Um, the piece of paper told me I couldn't say anything until yesterday. So, and they haven't even announced it this. They have not even announced this bottle. So I guess I, they told me the 28th. So I guess I can talk about it. But at this point, I don't care. Like, you should have been more clear. You didn't want me to talk about it. Um, the proof's 103, age six years, um, Indiana and Kentucky. 60 bucks. 60 bucks. I'm going to tell you guys right now, man. I'm just gonna tell you. I, I don't want to. I don't want to sound like. I don't want to sound. I get it. I'm gonna be totally transparent with you guys because I don't. I have a job that pays me money. B 
these guys have messaged me and they want to, you know, like, hey, let's have a live stream, let's do all this. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I'm cool with it. And I'm not going to bullshit people. This bottle was 200. This one is 60. Okay? Look at the difference. They're different. They're, they're totally different. My biggest thing with Eric Church, celebrity whiskey. He's probably the only celebrity whiskey that actually tastes good. Um, everyone else just buys cheap shit and puts a $60 price tag, and that's the end of the day. Um, okay. I'm on your side. 200 bucks. That's a lot. This tastes unlike anything you've ever had. That's all I'll say. I'm not trying to sell it to you because I don't get any profit from it. Like they're not paying me to they're not paying me to say that. I'm saying that on myself. I don't make any money. This tastes like unlike anything any celebrity has done or any whiskey for that matter. Now let's talk about the cheaper version because I feel like that's, now we're talking. Now we're talking all of you guys. I get it, you can't spend 200 bucks. Now you're in your price range, 60 bucks. Is it as good as the $200 bottle? I don't, I don't think it's as good as this one. I don't think it's as good as this one. This one is, it's so different. It's just fun. Like they they really killed that bottle. Is this bottle something to write home about? No. It's not. Is it worth sixty bucks? I mean I could argue forty, forty five. It's a celebrity whiskey. Uh, Chris Stapleton, his shit ass whiskey that he put out at 40 bucks, I wouldn't pay 15 bucks for it. So there's that. Um, I'm just saying, I think for a celebrity whiskey, I think he is understanding the assignment. You know what I'm saying? He understands the assignment. Like, it, is it the best thing ever? No, absolutely not. Is it fine? Absolutely. Is it a good price? There we go. It's Eric freaking mother freaking church. For a good price? You're telling me Eric Church ain't putting something out that's 300 freaking dollars? No, it's 60. And it, it's in the same, this bottle, I'm telling you guys, you could throw this bottle at someone's head and their brain would fly out of their skull. It is like 10 pounds, okay? It is like a, this is a weapon. I mean, that it's, it's crazy. This is, this will kill humans. This, someone will die. If you threw this at them, they will die. Do not throw this at people. 60 bucks. It's in the same bottle and it tastes just fine. Hey, babe. Come here. Just come say hello. You have to. Just show your face and we're ending the live stream. We need a Gypsy Free Range bottle flight. I feel like the Gypsy would probably be on par. 
I don't think she's coming. She didn't seem very happy. We'll wrap it up. I love you. She said she loves you too. Let's wrap it up. Um, sorry. I'll give you. Um, let's see if I can't find an embarrassing photo. That's all you get. There you go. There's Miss Wrench. All right, guys. Um, we wrapping it up. Um, you may or may not. I want to. I have to pull this close. You may or may not see me tomorrow. Um, very special guest tomorrow. Um, if anything, you'll see photos. We'll take lots of photos, but very important day tomorrow. Um, other than that, Sunday, Sunday, it's all about Jesus. And, um, I don't know, other channels don't talk about religion, but we love Jesus Christ over here, so... It's, um, I mean, you don't have to, I'm, I'm cool. Like we don't have to talk about it. You don't have to believe we're cool, but I believe that he is risen. So period. Cheers. Cheers to that. Um, happy Easter. He is risen. Again, please, if you guys like death metal, go listen to the song, He is Risen. If you want to hear screaming church music, in the midst of lions, he is risen. And I'm about to play that as soon as we end this stream, because I'm about to get in the mood. Um, in the midst of lions, he is risen. Cheers. Christ is risen. You know what? You don't care. You don't like it. <laughs> you know, there's plenty of other channels over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're a bunch of degenerates over here. We get drunk. We talk about cock. We talk about shit. And we love Jesus, you know? <laughs> We're a bunch of degenerates over here. Freaking love you guys. Um, um, other than that, um, shoot, I don't care what you believe in. I'll see you guys uh, next um, Monday for a live um, video. Please, I, I highly encourage all of you, please watch my next video. And, like, give me feedback. Um, other than that, see you um, next Friday. Let's see what else we got. Or else I'll look like this. Uh, things are much harder when you're drunk. If you don't watch my channel, this will be me. Please don't let this be me. Bye. That's not a penis.
That looks like a freaking cock. Like, what is what is in his left hand that's not a cock? I think that's a hilt of a sword. But this grown man, he's holding. I'm sure he didn't stab him with his penis. Okay? <laughs> maybe he killed him, and then he just, maybe he likes that. I don't know. He's like, oh yeah, I freaking love killing, I love killing people. And that makes me freaking rock hard, and that's not my sword. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know the story. Uh, but that is a, that is not a penis. That is a sword and a dead man. It's a, that's a sword and a dead man. All right. I, I mean, I don't know. If I were to write history, that is that is clearly a penis. I mean, I, like I that but that's why that's why I'm not writing history. And then he stabbed him with his cock, and then he died. Yeah, that, I mean, like that's me. That's what I would do. <laughs> that's why I don't write history. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cheers, guys. Hey, happy Easter. Enjoy it with your fam. Let me let me say this. It doesn't matter what you believe. Tomorrow is an excuse for you to get with your family that you might not have talked to in a while. Maybe you haven't seen them. Maybe you disagree with them. Um, I encourage all of you, let me, let me, let, I'm going to leave you with this. I don't care what you believe in. And I don't care what th the family you disagree with believes in. Don't be a cock. Go spend time with your family. Jesus is king. Your family is also your family. So go see him. Go spend time with him. Go crack eggs. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Just put aside the um, beliefs and just go and hang out. Eat sandwiches and hunt Easter eggs. Like whatever you do. Cheers. Maybe just a chub. I freaking love you guys. Um, see ya. We're out. We out of here. Love you guys. Seriously, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, Patreon. Super Chats. Don't be a cock. Spend time with family. Love ya. I'll be here too. So just send me an email. I'll hang out with you. I'll send you messages. Bye. You never promised tomorrow. <laughs>